Hey, Kyle is a thing of the future and the present. She has three low-calorie flavor enhancers that you can use while cooking in this week's Health in a Hand Basket. So these are things we can use to... What was enhance it? Kick, flavor kick it up a notch. and right. enhance our nutritional okay. information. So I've got three awesome, my personal favorites that I use at my house all the time. And I usually find that if people haven't tried something before, they're scared to try sure it for the are. first time. So maybe you can try these recipes, tell everyone how the delicious they are, okay. and they can feel comfortable going to the grocery store. I will not store. lie. If they, if they are not delicious, I Thank will say you. so. I appreciate that. Okay. So first up is turmeric, and I'm always talking about turmeric and the yep. health benefits because we know that the active compound in turmeric is the curcumin, which which helps to reduce inflammation in the body. And so for anybody with a chronic disease, such as type hmm. 2 diabetes or heart disease, reducing inflammation is a great way to reduce our signs and symptoms of the disease. So I've got two different options here for you. I have, okay. have you heard of golden milk before? No. Exactly. It's a trend. It's a very big trend. Really? Instagram, Pinterest. It's actually a very old traditional Indian drink and it's huh. traditionally made with coconut milk okay. and the turmeric. Okay. And I lightened it up a little bit and did almond milk because our almond milk only has 30 calories okay. per cup. So this is going to be boiled on the stove, you drink it warm, kind of like hot chocolate, yep. and it's going to have turmeric and a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of ginger in there, but it's about 35 calories per cup, and it's a great warm option to get you ready for bed. That is interesting. Isn't that different? Yeah, that is really very good. different. Really good. It grows on It was you, hard to anticipate like. what that was going to taste like. But it's a little sweet and it's yeah. a little earthy. A little bit different, but yeah. it's a great thing to try. I like it. And then I also have it mixed into yogurt as well, and you can see that bright, bright vibrant yellow. color. Yeah. yeah, so I've got it in yogurt with some coconut flakes and a little bit of mint extract, a okay. little bit of chia seeds, just to kind of, of course, throw that nutritional booster in there, but it's just a great way to get that spice in while you're eating what you normally would eat anyway. Is one of the dangers of enhancing flavor is it? I mean, most people think they enhance flavor with salt or sugar. Salt or sugar or fat, or which fat. is butter. Right. I mean, we all like those things, but right. there's different options out there to try. Because you could up up end your good intentions for by sure doing definitely that. Okay. and okay. so in the middle here which is my personal favorite garlic which mm -hmm. is everybody's personal favorite and we get used to cooking with it but we don't actually ever really think about the with the strong nutritional benefits of okay. garlic and yeah, there's a right. lot of new studies coming People out take garlic supplements garlic supplements yeah. because they're saying that garlic can be really helpful in managing diabetes okay. of course i'm always pushing a food first model so it's a great way to get it in in food. So from the American Diabetes Association, we have this garlic sauteed kale and spinach. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I think we forget about how delicious just the most simple recipes can be. Mm. So it's just going to be kale and spinach, mm. a little bit of vinegar, mm. and a little bit of garlic. Super simple. Very good. Over the weekend, I held a cooking class, and someone asked me a really interesting question about these pre-cut, pre-washed salad mixes. Right. And they said, are they as healthy? And I said, if that helps you to get vegetables on the table mm -hmm. quicker, faster for your family, that is definitely the best choice for you. Okay. Whatever it takes to get those vegetables in, utilize Wegman services to your advantage. Okay, very good. That was delicious. And then last but not least is ginger, which is something that most people may be a little bit shy to try at first, but all that ginger I got at Wegmans for only $2. It's That's super cheap, so it's not like you're going to really invest in trying something new. But I like to use it raw, and the one way I use it at home all the time is I make a ginger tea with it. So mm. hot water and lemon. Mm -hmm. right there. And that's basically all it is, is just ginger, hot water, and lemon. And I I start mm. my day with that and but you can also use it other ways too so I made a ginger and green tea overnight oats wow. which is a great make ahead breakfast so that you already good. have it ready to go for you mm -hmm. but really low calorie you're swapping out milk for the green tea which is calorie free and we know green tea has health benefits like, as well it's like a ginger snap that's right okay tell us where people can find the so you can information get the recipes from my website emilykylenutrition.com and of course the american diabetes association very as good well. and while i have a few seconds left you you mentioned that you'd rather get your, say your garlic yes, through food. Absolutely. Why is that? Real because real? the FDA does not re regulate the supplement industry. Okay. So there's no guarantee that that is actually garlic in your supplement. Gotcha. Of course, there are other third-party verifications, but food first is always a better choice. Thank you, Emily Kyle. Thank you so much. We'll be back with the news headlines after this.